On a recent trip to Sicily, I saw these amazing looking fruit and nut cookies. So I came home and immediately veganized and made them healthy. They're loaded with dried fruit and nuts. In the Sicilian tradition, they are amazing. And if they were any easier to make, they'd bake themselves. So get to the kitchen and bake a batch. You will love these. All right, in this bowl, we have whole wheat pastry flour. Now, whole wheat pastry flour is the only flour you wanna bake with for cakes, pies, cookies, muffins, because it gives you a nice tender crumb. Don't use whole wheat flour, that's for bread. Whole wheat pastry, okay? So that's all that's in here. But now to lighten things up, I add a little bit of semolina flour, and you can get the measurements from the recipe. All right, so that goes in there like that. Now we're gonna add just a touch of sea salt, because it makes everything sweeter. About a teaspoon of baking powder, eh, very scant. Then we're gonna add a touch of cinnamon. Now the cinnamon is really, really a common ingredient in Sicilian baking, and I don't know if they know how smart they are using it, but it not only gives you a lovely little hit of aromatic flavor and makes things seem a little sweeter, but it helps to balance your blood sugar. So you're eating cookies and balancing your blood sugar. How good is that? So now you're gonna mix together your dry ingredients. This is really, really simple, okay? We're gonna add to this about a quarter cup of extra virgin avocado oil. This will give you that nice buttery finish on your cookies. You know, a lot of people use butter, so I just switched it up to avocado oil. And you want a nice extra virgin, look at the color of that oil. It's nice and green like avocado oil should be. Now we will add to this some of Suzanne's specialties, maple rice syrup. You notice I used the same cup that I did for the oil. And this is just a little trick to help you have the rice syrup come out of the measuring cup. So it's about a half cup. So now you just mix this together, add a little touch of vanilla, about a teaspoon. You wanna get a nice pure vanilla extract that does not have any sugar, so read the label. And what you're looking for is a nice soft cookie dough, like this. And once you have this batter, it's this nice golden color and it's kind of soft but not wet, you're gonna add to this, in this bowl is a mix of uh, pecans, slivered almonds, currants, and raisins. You can use any combination of nuts and dried fruit that you like. Sometimes I put pistachios, sometimes I put pine nuts, sometimes I chop apricots. Whatever dried fruit and nuts you like, you want a total of about three quarters to a cup. And that goes in. This is a fruit and nut cookie. The more fruit and nuts, the better. And now you just do what's called folding and you keep pulling the batter up from the bottom of the bowl to get your fruit and nuts mixed in because you want them pretty evenly mixed through. You don't wanna have you know, cookies without fruit and nuts and cookies that are loaded. So you just kinda of keep mixing it this way. It's sort of you're turning it, almost kneading it with your spoon to kind of get everything mixed in. And once everything's together and you don't have a pile of loose fruit and nuts on the bottom of the bowl, now you're ready to put it onto the baking sheet. So you want to make a little bit of space in between the cookies because they will, in fact, um, spread and puff just a little bit. So you're going to take a cookie, about a tablespoon of cookie batter, and you kind of form it with your fingers like that. And you're going to put maybe three across and four down to put a dozen cookies on a tray. This yield will be about two dozen. And when these come out of the oven, they're gonna bake for 18 minutes at 350. When they come out of the oven, they'll be kind of puffed up and golden and still a little soft and just perfect. So I'll see you in 18 minutes. Okay, here we are at 18 minutes. You can see the cookies are nice and golden, but if you touch them, they're still soft. That's what you want, because now they'll come out to the perfect texture. And when they're cooled, you have the best afternoon treat you can imagine.